Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie and today I'm bringing you part two of my New Jersey luxury apartment tour. Part one is already on my channel. So if you haven't checked that out, it is a tour of my complex's amenities. This video, I'm going to be showing you my apartment, which is about 522 square feet. It is a all cove. I think that's how you say it studio apartment so i have a separate sleeping area so my bed and stuff is not like in my living room like most other studio apartments also quick disclaimer i live on a ground level so if you happen to hear cars going by i mean you shouldn't but if you do that's why and then i also have my old apartment tour on my channel as well it is another luxury complex in the new jersey area it is a one bedroom much bigger so it would be interesting to see how i am utilizing some of those same items in this space so if you haven't checked that out also go ahead and check that out so we're going to go ahead and jump right in we're going to start right in the living room since i'm already sitting here so let's go all right guys so this is the living room as you can see i have the same curtains same couch same pillow covers Everything is also again listed in the description box below. So this is just a quick overview of the living room. Okay. So I guess we'll start on this side of the room. This is my floor mirror that I got from Home Goods. I had this for about three, four, maybe five years now. Love it. This is the rug that I got from IKEA. And this is kind of like one of my favorite pieces in the whole apartment. This is my bar cart. Got this from Overstock. It did come white. I spray painted it gold. But yeah, I just have some tools up there. I have a candle, which is about done. And then I found these little sparkling juices in Target. I only got them because it was pink and gold. But yeah, that's that. And then down here, we just have the wine glasses, shot glasses, some other glasses. And then we have the drinks, which as you can see, I need to update my collection but anywho that is the bar cart and then we come over here into this corner not much but I have this side table which I got from home goods a little plant that I got for Christmas RIP I don't know is it supposed to be like that I mean I know it's not supposed to be hanging down but like is it because it's winter I know I was taking care of this plant so I don't know what happened anywho so I found these picture frames and Marshalls. Um, I can't find another set. Like I wanna put more on this wall, but this was just, I guess a random find because now I can't find them at any Marshalls that I checked. So yeah, that's that. And then I just have some blankets over here, some throw blankets, and then Milo's playpen. Huge couch, I do want a small couch, but until I can get rid of this one for a good price, cause I paid a lot of money for this. I'll be keeping it. And then we move over here to my work area slash filming area. This desk came from Overstock. They also have it on Ikea and I tagged it down below. And then this is just some random decor pieces that I found. The chair is also from Overstock. And then this little thing here, my new favorite, is a coffee warmer. Since I'm working remote, I drink a lot of tea and throughout the day it get cold. I don't want to have to warm it up. I just sit it on there get into it guys it's legit and then down here I just have like some supplies for work this I just keep some school supplies important paperwork some electronic junk drawer down there and then that's like my little marker board that I use when I'm teaching okay. then we do have a built-in shelf so this came like this and I utilize this to hold my, my little collection of makeup. I don't think I have a lot of makeup, but really? some people might think otherwise. And then down here we have some more makeup, some filming stuff back there. Down here is just some more filming stuff and my makeup bag, etc. Keep my ring light here. It is currently on, so I'm not going to show it to you. And then I have some books up here. This perfume, guys, is so good. Like, this is the Versace Dylan Blue. It's my newest one, and it just smells so good. It's currently not where the other perfumes are because it just don't fit, but look at the bottle. It just fits perfectly right here next to the crown, next to my degrees, etc. And then just up here, I have some more stuff, like some decor stuff, storage, you know. And then here I have my TV on the wall, and then my TV stand, which 
I'm debating about getting rid of it because as you can see, it's hanging off on both ends. It's too big for this wall. But I like this TV stand and it is from Ikea, but I do like it. And the only thing I keep up here right now is these candles from my friend's candle business called Lunar. They smell so good. If you're interested in like candles that smell amazing, I will tag her Instagram in the description box and you can check her out. Maybe you guys can help me get some ideas of something else I can put here. I do have this little area rug. It's a little too small for this area, but it's gonna have to do because I don't feel like buying a new rug. And then my little peat on it. <laughs> I don't know how to get it out because I can't put the rug in the washing machine, so I don't know what to do. Also, a cool feature about this living room, it does have like dimmable lights in the ceiling. Yeah, so you can dim the lights. Um, let's head right into the kitchen, which is, you know, right here because it's all one big room. But before we jump into that, I just want to show you quickly, it does have a washer and dryer stacked here. And in this closet, I just keep like detergent, tissue, broom, you know, that kind of stuff. And it also does have a dishwasher very important here is the kitchen I do know that in the one bedrooms and up they do have like an island but I guess the studio you know smaller space so no island but this is my little cookie jar Keurig area I keep the K cups up here now you know to utilize space on my counter with some other dishes and things. And then this sign, again, I think I got this from Target, it was like $3. Deep little sink, I do like this. You know, I think when you get older, you start appreciating these types of things. I need to go fix that down below. And then we have a cabinet here, which I keep like tools and my little stuff. So this is the electric stove. Back up to show you. Yeah, so like I said, everything is electric, no gas in this apartment full microwave and then you have some cabinets up here which I utilize to keep like extra things like for my ninja all that and then down there I just keep my pots and pans and then I just have one drawer which I don't like I mean it is a pretty big drawer but like they could have gave me another one and then yeah this here and then in here is I guess where I keep like you know the food and spices and things Everything is like condensed together now because you ain't got no space. And then here on the side of the fridge, I just keep my little step stool because I do utilize that cabinet up there for more food and oil and all that type of stuff. And then this is the full fridge. I'm not gonna open that up because ain't nothing in there. Like literally, there's nothing in there. I need to go shopping. And then here, I just keep this little bench I had in my old apartment. It was like in the entryway, but I like it. I mean, come here, put some shoes underneath there. If I have guests, if I'm cooking, I can entertain them. I do have this marble thing I want to put here. It's like a marble marker board. This is like the main hallway. That's the door to enter. We'll go over there in a second, but first we're going to head into the bathroom. And this is a quick little view of the bathroom. I do want to show you the door. It has like a barn door. And I think that was like genius to save on space. But yeah, that's so cool. Pretty small, but it gets the job done. We have a shower. Okay, so that's the shower. Just have that little shelf there where I keep my supplies. I don't like a lot of products and things in the shower anyway, so that's good enough for me. And then we have this mirror. Cute, cute. And then this is the sink. Okay, so I found these little storage buckets and things at Bed Bath & Beyond, cause you know, your girl gotta utilize all the storage she got. So that's that, only that one little cabinet. But the good thing about this bathroom is it also came with built-in shelves. So that is coming in clutch. So over here, I just keep like, my face and skin products, my stuff that I use every day. My towels, wash rags. Got some hair products up there, some other things, my Invisalign, and then just stuff that I don't use frequently up there. And then down here is the toilet, hand towel, garbage bag. That's where I keep all like my cleaning supplies. 
I don't really like how it looks. It's not really cute. It's taken away from the whole aesthetic, but I ain't got nowhere else to put it. And then over here is just this little area. I'm so proud of my little R towels. Okay, then I keep my Bible. I keep my devotional book here. And then also my Beats pill on these little mirror tables that I also got from Home Goods several years ago. And then over here in this little corner, it came with like a hook already, so I just keep my robes right here. And then I also bought like a command hook because I needed another one to hold my towel. I just have my scale, my bath rug, and that rug. Pretty much this is the bathroom. Definitely a little vibe. Try to give it a little hotel feel, but I think it's cute. All right, and so when we leave, the bathroom we're gonna head to our right and we're going to enter what is my bedroom so yes yes before you guys ask yes the bed is by the door I could have made this the living room and put the bed back there but as you can see there's no way all of that stuff in my living room is gonna fit there so here it is and actually it doesn't really bother me sleeping by the door to be honest I have this little shelf here from Target which I just used as you can see to put my purse some shoes if I have guests, they can put shoes there as well. I have this Mel thing, which is from Amazon. Love this. Um, I hang my mask, my keys, my little poop bags. TV is on the wall, and again, this might be a little weird, but it is not that bad because I could like tilt the TV. I can also like pull it out, so I think that's great. I'll insert a clip of what this looks like when I'm actually laying down watching TV. And then I just have like a little nightstand over there where I keep like my, you know, undergarments and that kind of stuff. We have my little bed because he sleeps right here. Or he chooses sometimes to sleep in his cage. Say hey, Milo. Say hi. <laughs> hey. Okay, now get down. And then when we turn this way, this is my jewelry holder. Got this from Amazon as well. And it does have a lock on it. And if you watched the last one, I think I filled it up a little more. Still not as full as it could be, but yeah. So this is where I keep my perfumes. The other one didn't fit, which is why it's over there. We got some shades down here. And then we have like earrings, necklaces, that kind of stuff. I love this thing. Right. It also could be like hung on the wall, but you know, this is not a permanent situation, so we're gonna leave it as that. And then this is the closet. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the closet. It already came with these shelves built in, which was perfect. I tried to utilize every square inch, as I mentioned before. So up here, I just have my hills, two rows of hills up there. I have some purses, some backpacks, and then this section here is my shirts, my jackets, and my hoodies. And then I had these IKEA boxes left over that were in my dresser. So I just used these to put like t-shirts. My socks are in this one and then long shirts are in there. The hair is my skirts and my pants. And then I also have like some hidden shoe boxes down there. My laundry basket. Then we have more shoes. That basket holds my bathing suits and things. And then this is like the long hanging, which is like my dresses, my jackets, and my coats. And then down there is just storage, so extra stuff. This is the board that I want to put above the bench by the kitchen. I'm going to hang that up at some point. And then on the doors, I have a hook. This is where I just keep my coat that I'm frequently wearing, my little stuff, a purse. And then over here, I have this shoe thing. Y'all tell me, how did I lose? How I lose a sneaker in the middle of moving? I lost one sneaker, not a pair of sneakers, one sneaker. Good thing it wasn't an expensive one. But anywho, this is my hats. And then my extra purses, my jeans. Down here I just keep like sweats, leggings, and yoga pants, those types of things. And then here are my t-shirts. So those were like shirts, like short sleeve shirts that I wear. Those are like t-shirts in there. And then here are like my shorts and things. But yeah, that's the closet. Um, for now, it's doing this job. As you see, I still have a little bit, tiny bit of room 
to grow if it came to that. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a walkthrough without me talking and stopping and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And there you have it guys this is my apartment if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already then go ahead and subscribe but also if you're interested in a part three I could talk my management into giving me a tour of the one bedroom two bedroom etc so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments down below and also if you're still apartment hunting or just want to see more luxury complexes in the New Jersey area check out my previous apartment it is a complex in North New Jersey so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.